Hi, this is Victoria James and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and click the red subscriber button, let it turn gray and become a J Bay. J Bays are the best bays in YouTube because they tune in whenever I upload to chit chat and all that about luxury beauty. Oh wow, okay, so. We are excited. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. That's why we're excited. Y'all, she's here. Just came in the mail this morning. Shout out to the FedEx guy for being early. So I Need a Nude from Natasha Denona has been around for a couple of years now. We received our first iteration of the I Need a Nude line with her array of nude soft matte lipsticks. I have three, the last three, and I love them. Then she hit us with the I Need a Nude Glow, which is her highlighter. A gorgeous highlighter, and to this day, I still really enjoy it. It came out during one of the holiday collections. Then she came out with the I Need a Nude Liners. I really like these. I have Naya and Lala. I'm gonna need her to give us, I'm gonna need her to give us that middle shade from the lipsticks in, in a, I don't know why you thought we didn't want that in a pencil, Natasha. I did. And now, and now, we got palette. I am so excited for this, y'all. An overwhelming consensus in the community section of this channel was that this was getting purchased and we cannot wait to see it on you. And so, Let's get into it. I've already put my base on you guys. I'm gonna leave it in the description box. I just wanna dive in. I will be wearing um, later in the video when I complete my look more I need a nude for you. But right now, right now, let us focus on her. The cover, which I know that a lot of us were like, question mark, question mark, question mark. But this was inspired by modern stone architecture. Really, really beautiful. I love where she pulls inspiration from, like pretty much every time. Um, and here are the shades, y'all. She's so beautiful. When I first saw this palette, I knew, I knew that I was going to like it. And we're gonna go through all the finishes and I'm gonna swatch them according to the finishes. Also, we're gonna talk about the new formulas in here. And then we're gonna do some comparisons, of course, because I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You wanna see this against glam. And I got you. Since Natasha Denona is now available at Ulta, you can pick this palette up once it's available in store at Ulta. Um, I'm a Sephora girl, so I tend to go to Sephora. Um, and you can, of course, purchase from the Natasha Denona website. You can purchase from Beautylish. It's available in a lot of different places. I received mine um, from Sephora as part of their early access for Rouge members. So here we have the mattes. As you can see, you have seven mattes in this palette. I'm going to go in order for you, but it's going to be reversed for you. I'm just going to point to it as it appears in the palette. Stone is described as a light medium warm taupe. Vague is a matte, medium, warm, dusty. I'm assuming this is a dusty rose because they did not finish that. And, and dusty? That's funny. <laughs> I don't even know. It's just a warm dusty. <laughs> and then we have silhouette, which is described as a dark, coffee bean brown. I mean, that is good, yeah? I feel like that's really good. The next one is Fair, which is a matte light misty rose. I don't really see the pink in there. I don't really see like the rosy tone, but sure, girl, whatever. Next we have Wit, and Wit is described as a light warm rose, which I absolutely agree. That is a really beautiful shade. One of my favorites. Next is Tender, which is described as a matte medium taupe, and then Mesh, which is described as a light dusty rose. I actually feel like this one is a little more rosy. So here are all of the matte shades in this palette. Next up we have all the shine, all that shimmers, if you will, the twinkle. 
in the order that they appear. Whisper, a metallic light nude pink. Ella, a sparkling foiled warm fawn. Rose Travertine, a metallic soft amber. Delilah, a sparkling wet effect silver brown. Muse, a sparkling foiled champagne. <whistles> Bay Bay, she is fabulous. Filigree, a sparkling foiled neutral brown. Sheen, a glossy wet effect warm champagne. And lastly, Mia, a sparkling wet effect icy pink. Let's get this on our lids. When I first looked at this palette, I said, I wanna do something really soft and pretty that can transition into evening with that beautiful silhouette shade. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, shade Vague. Vague is going first right here. Just gonna take a bit more and bring it a little bit further up my, the hood of my lid. I'm not seeing any skipping. It's depositing evenly. Looks really good. I'm gonna see how much it builds. And this is a synthetic brush I'm using. I am gonna try the other side with a natural hair blending brush. That color is really pretty. Next with a refer number one, I'm gonna use that same shade. Just, just to see how much pigment, much more pigmentation we get with less layers. I do feel like I'm not using as much pressure. Definitely more pigmentation with less product and less pressure. So if you have very like sensitive eyes, then you'll want to use some natural hair brushes, but you probably already know that because you have sensitive eyes. Next, I'm going to go in with a shimmery shade. And I think I want Ella but I wanna try something a little bit softer first. So I'm gonna use Whisper. Let's start with Whisper. And I'm gonna be using a flat compact shader like this one. It is also synthetic. So it's gonna pick up very easily and deposit just as easily. Very pretty. And I'll lightly diffuse that into the hood so I don't get transfer. Now we're gonna go on top with Ella. I'm gonna use my finger to, to apply Ella. camera overheated you guys I'm sorry but I just went ahead and did the other eye just to catch things up taking silhouette adding depth to my outer corners and then we're gonna reassess decide if we're gonna use Delilah or Muse Ooh, that's picking up let's just make sure that we evenly disperse it because I don't want it to be too smoky honey I don't want too much going on girl I just want a little depth I'm saying like This is a daytime. I mean, but it's giving, and all I'm doing is tapping, and it's giving, it's deposit tank, and blending right in. Like I barely have to do any of this. Like it's clean-ish side to just 
get it all together. very easy like so easy so Ella is giving you like that inner corner crease thing so I want to bring some of that back in and I think that Delilah could help us do that and add a little twinkle as well okay so I'm picking that up with a flat synthetic shader and I'm gonna smear it okay Natasha, now you know this is stunning. Girl, girl, girl. Ooh. I might throw a, a little hint of whisper right in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to kind of blend it back into the look, but come on. She's giving dimension. That is nice, honey. And it's so lightweight that you're not, like, this isn't, if you have mature lids, wrinkly lids, girl, it's fine. It's fine, okay? Totally fine. She, she's cute. Delilah's, I'm gonna put me on too. Shoot, why not, girl? Put it on the lower lash line, sis. I sure will. Look at this eye. If you're not a girl who's like too into the sparkle, you can stop right here. Right there with Whisper. The little metallic, you know what I mean? This is so pretty. Ugh! I love you, Natasha. Back up in here, just did the lower lash line using the transition shade. I used Vague, I used Tender, this girly down here, and then just the tiniest bit of silhouette, yeah. Just the tiniest bit. Now, let me show you something. Let me, now let me, let me get y'all in here. Let me really get y'all in here, okay? Because I need you to see what is absolutely beaming off of my lower inner corner, okay? That is not a joke. That is Mia. That be she. And she be flawless. Let's have a look at how easy it is too. We're gonna take a natural hairbrush, reference number 23. This palette is a winner. I can't wait to play with more. I feel like I even want to just like throw something else on my lid. <laughs> I feel like I could just, I want to put everything on. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to put some liner on and some mascara and maybe a lash. And I will be back with more I Need a Nude. Okay, I'm back. We now have lashes, not lashes, I'm sorry. We now have liner and a mascara. So I went ahead and put Lala on my lash line, lower lash line. I also used it to line my lips. I went over that with the Naya lip pencil and just kind of filled the rest in with Nati from the I Needed Nude Lipsticks, which is a little bit warmer brown. And then what is giving me the glisten and glow is going to be the I Need a Nude Glow, of course. So that's what's happening there. And now let's talk about the comparisons. The very obvious one being the Glam palette. These two palettes are middies. So they are the $69 price point. 
So we do have the I Need a Nude palette and it is giving neutral with a little pink. And then we have Glam, which is giving us neutral with kind of like a smoky gray vibe. So a little cooler. Now, both are cool neutral palettes. But there's something a little bit, there's something warmer to me about the I Need a Nude color story. And just FYI, these are um, removable. So I did adjust my glam palette to accommodate my skin tone based on the titles that are listed on the palette. Still one of my faves, by the way. The uh, Glam palette is really gorgeous. I think I Need a Nude is my new favorite. And it could just be because it's new. That could very well be the case. But like, this eye look, this is me doing a lot, right? You could totally just throw on a metallic or one of the new wet formulas or the foiled formula, whatever. You could throw one of those on with a matte if you're in a hurry. And you still would look incredible because these formulas are very thin on the lids. And I love that for mature lids because it's going to, you know, give you the effect that you want without making your eyes look crepey, without making them without emphasizing the texture that exists on your lids. I have hooded eyes. I have um, wrinkly lids. Um, I have lots of creases. And I feel like I was able to achieve a very soft glam look that can still be worn during the day without people going, where are you going, girl? You know? <laughs> um, so I feel like this palette can really do a lot. I can't wait to dive into it a little bit more, to be honest. Like, I want to create some more looks with this. Um, this is even giving, like, this whole look right now is giving latte, and that's, like, really trending a lot lately. So I'm wondering if maybe I should do, like, a latte look with the um, nude palette. <laughs> you guys let me know if that's something that you would like to see. So, yeah, I mean, my, my critiques... I don't know. I don't think I have any critiques. I feel like you can achieve the pigmentation that you're after with a natural hair uh, brush versus a synthetic brush if um, that's something that you are open to doing. If not, you can still get great looks with a synthetic brush. You still get, um, you know, it still ends up building. I think that the pigmentation's there. Depositing these shades on the lid, especially the ones that have the, the crystals in them, it it wasn't it, it wasn't work I did wet my brush a teensy bit when I was putting Delilah in this area because I didn't want anything to fall off but honestly you don't really have to I I feel like this is a foolproof palette this is going to be the one that you tell people to grab if they've never tried Natasha Denona before this is going to be that girl and I think that this is going to be her best seller next to Glam and um, the My Dream palette because these colors can work for so many people. And these are the kind of looks, at least for me, that I want to wear every day. I'm just so happy I picked this up. I, I really... <sighs> this is the first eyeshadow palette I have purchased since doing my makeup declutter. What a great addition to the collection. I'm, I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love with it. I can totally see myself using this all the time. <laughs> so if you liked today's video and you want to check out this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, go ahead and click that, click that link in the description box and get your hands on this girl. I mean, she is just fabulous. Man, I can't wait to do another eye look. I'm so excited. And I haven't been excited like that in a really long time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section. Let's have a chit chat and all that as we do about luxury beauty. Will you be picking up the Natasha Denona palette? Will you um, be passing on this? And if so, why? I welcome you to become a J-Bay by subscribing to my YouTube channel. 
I also have linked in the description box where all this beautiful stuff came from, which is Timu. Yes, this is all from Timu, y'all. Isn't that gorge? Go ahead and click that link as well. You will get a $100 credit for signing up. Uh, so, I mean, how can you go wrong? And I think I, you can ball on a budget on some Timu, y'all. And they got everything. Can't wait to chit chat a little more with you in the comment section. Check the description box for anything that you might need from this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.